guys and welcome back to a new tutorial from me. I am Art Invader, a digital artist from Berlin. And maybe you already know me from my Instagram and TikTok channels. There I post regularly short tutorials and my art. And now I have a lot of new projects and I will make their announcements. So if you don't want to miss some news, follow me there. It would be great. <laughs> and today we will create this cool animation. You maybe already know it because it's a typical all-time classic from After Effects. But we will create it today new and more realistic and with real 3D objects and not only the illusion of 3D. And it is a really cool project, so let's start. The 3D, the 3D objects. 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 Alright, let's start with the tutorial. First we delete the light, the light, the cube and the camera with the X key. And first we will create our role here. And for this we need a plane and also here the transform window. And here we change the scale in the X, X <laughs> uh, to 3, to something like this. And now we go in the edit mode. Choose the loop cut, set the cut, and open this window here and increase the cuts to 100 that we can later roll the plane. Perfect. In the next step, we go under curve and we need a curve spiral and the Archimedean is perfect for the project. And if you don't have the spline, you have to go under preferences search for add curve extra objects and install it, open Blender new and then you have extra splines, not the basic stuff guys. It's really cool, you can create really cool things with the other splines. And in this window we have now to change the spline and we have to take 12 turns, 50 steps and the radius grow to 0.1 and the radius also to 0.1. And now we have a cool spiral. Now we have to go back to the object mode. And now we have to rotate the spiral by 90 degrees in the x axis, in the y axis also by 90. So you can see now what I did, that it shows here to the end. And uh, in the z axis by 180. And we also have to go back to the edit mode, choose minus y, that you can see the spiral from the best perspective, choose the end point and drag it to the side a little bit, like this, and zoom in, because it's not per perfectly straight, you have to put it a little bit up, to something like this, perfect. Okay, now you can go back to the object mode. Choose the plane, go to the modifier and add uh, the form modifier, the curve modifier and choose with the pipette the spiral and choose in the deform axis to Y. And now you have also to rotate the plane by 90 degrees in the X axis. And now we have also changed the position here in the X axis. Now you can see this good like this. Yeah. Okay. Now we need also the array modifier. And you have to put it up because we want to array the plane. Under count we have to choose 6. And here we have to choose minus 1. Perfect. Okay. As you can see you can also increase more the uh, count if it's in the end, like this. That looks good. Now press with the right mouse button on it and choose Shade Smooth. Close the modifier here. And now we need the Solidify modifier to make it a little bit thicker. And as you can see, you have now the lines here. You have also to go under the Array modifier and put the check mark to Merge. Now the lines are away. And yeah, that looks good. Here you can also increase the thickness, mm, yeah, but I think this result is really good. Okay, so now you can choose the spiral, choose the move tool and now it roll up perfectly. 
So now I show you also how, how you can uh, change the position of the roll because it's not so easy. We name the layer to roll left, copy and paste it. We name it to roll right. Choose both layers, drag it to the side. And now you have to rotate the spiral by 306 degrees. And this happened now. And now you have to change the position of the plane in the x-axis. If it fits here perfectly again. All right, I think now you understand the principles of the transformation of the roll. One step is missing. As you can see, the tape has a other color inside as outside. And for this, we have to do uh, some things. <laughs> you have to select first the roll, the plane, and apply the solidify modifier. Then you have to go to the edit mode. And as you can see, here's the part. Press to the side. Select this side, all cuts. Go now here to the vertex group, create a new vertex group, press assign. Now press here to the side, create a new vertex group, go to the other side and select now here all points like this and press now assign. All right, so choose now one vertex group, press select. This is this side now. Go now to the material window or material tag. Create a new material, press also assign, and now go back to the vertex group, deselect it, go now to the second vertex group, select it, go now here to the material back, the new material, and press assign, and press now here, and now as a test, we can change here the color. This one is now black, and we change here now the color, something reddish. Perfect. That's new. Became an art invader on YouTube. Click the join button and watch this tutorial in advance. You will also receive the project files for this tutorial as a member. Mm -hmm. The link is only visible for members in the community tag and you can download the files up to 24 hours after the main release. Thank you for the coffee guys. The materials. The materials. All right, now we came to the material part. And for this, I used Adobe Illustrator. I created a design like this. And um, this area is one centimeter high and three centimeter in the weight. And when you are ready, you can export it as a PNG file. And then you can select it, go under edit, edit colors and go to invert colors. Then you get the white image of your design. Then you can also export it here as a PNG file. That's it. And now we came back to Blender. These are my stripes. I everything roll, uh, rolled out. This, it looks like this. I also added uh, a plane as a ground. And this is the best way to see where you want to use white and the black image of your design. In the next step, go to add and add camera and search a perspective of your choice. Hit then the camera icon. I also did it already. And here's also really important, go under the camera tag because this is the original view. <laughs> and here you can change it to 26 that you have a better overview of the scene and you get unique um, render scenes and render regions and it uh, don't look so basic. <laughs> All right, when you are ready, go here under this tag and I already created the material. I will explain you step by step what I did. First, we go in the world mode to set our lightning. This is nothing special here. Uh, when you open it, you have the background and the world output. Then I searched for environment texture. Here I added a HDRI map, something like this. And here on the top, I inserted a colorful image that you get the bluish reflections on the tape. Then I searched for mapping and uh, geometry texture. 
to transform and rotate the both HDI IMAPs and the colorful image to get a good result. Then I searched for it's uh, the mix tag, but here I changed to screen to get this more brighten result. And here you can uh, connect the both environment textures together, put the factor to a value that you like. I want it high, uh, brighter. And then I searched for hue saturation value to increase the colors or change it a little bit. I wanted that the saturation is not too strong, so I make it a little bit lower. And here I took the value to two. And that's it for the environment texture. And now we came to the tape. We can take this for example. And as we already saw, here under the material tag, we have the both materials. And this is nothing special here. I made metallic to one and roughness to 0 0.2. And that's it. Then I searched for image texture. This is my Art Invader black design. And then I searched for mapping and texture coordinates and connected it with UV that it fits perfectly on our uh, plane. And here under rotation, this direction that you want. For example, here, you can see you can change the directions of the tape if it not fits <laughs> at the first time. And then you can select the second material. This is the same principle BSDF and here you insert the white design of the Art Invader or what you created for the tape. And yeah, you can also put the area light to get some reflections on the tape because it's really glossy. Uh, you can find the uh, area light here, light, area light. And this is my scene. And this area light is here. And if you want the values, I put it really strong to 600. And yeah, this one light is enough. <laughs> And in the end, choose the camera, set the check mark to ambient inclusion to get some shadows. These are my values. Under bloom, I also use it, but it's not so strong, a little bit, some reflections. And screen space reflections to get more reflections inside of the graphic. And it's important here, refraction, to put a check mark. And these are my values. And if you ask how I uh, change the format of the render region, you can find it here under the output. Perfect, that's it for the materials. You want my whole project files? You can get it. Become an Art Invader on Patreon and there you have the possibility to access this and more than 30 other projects that we already created together. And yeah, in this case, thank you so much for all people that already support me there. I'm really happy about the uh, whole positive feedback that I get from you. No, for real. Thank you so much, guys. And now we came to... The animation. The animation, 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 animation. Alright, now we came to the last part, the animation part. And I choose here 120 frames that are 4 seconds. And I will explain you by one roll how to animate it. Bring the animation slider to a position that you like or well, when you want that the roll starts to roll out. And uh, take the spiral, open the transform window and set, insert a keyframe here in the location and then bring the animation slider to a other point. Take the spiral and move it to the side. And the second keyframe is automatically set and now it rolls. And yeah, that's the way I animate it. You have, of course, repeated for all the rows. And uh, yeah, so you can see these are all my points and um, for all rows. And when you are ready, we want that the animation is linear. So we go here under Graph Editor. Here you see all our curves. Select all points, get to go to key, interpolation mode and linear. Now the whole animation is linear and, and in the same speed. Perfect. That's it for the tutorial, guys. That's it. Well done, Art Invaders. 
If you want to support me, subscribe to the channel or follow me on Instagram or TikTok. There you can also tag me at Art Invader and I will repost as a thank you your artwork in my stories. So, uh, by the way, you like this video? Show it with a like or a comment. <laughs> Alright, see you in the next week.